Uzbekistan is a country in Central Asia with a population of 30 million. Throughout history, Uzbekistan was known for its trade goods as a key stop along the ancient Silk Road from Europe to China. The legacy of the Great Silk Road remains as a testament to the close cooperation and peaceful coexistence between countries and cultures. On this route, merchants, craftsmen, musicians and scientists traded not only goods but knowledge, culture and skills from the many countries that lay along its path. The Fergana Valley is the most densely populated area in Central Asia. In it lies the city of Namangan, one of the biggest in Uzbekistan. Handicrafts have been developed here since ancient times in well-worn traditions passed on from father to son, from tutor to apprentice. Many types of goods are still produced by artisans. However, they too have had to adapt to a changing world and competition of low-cost products. This film will tell the story of a few traditional artisans who have managed to find a new way forward. Here in our valley, craftsmanship is very widespread and based on the tradition, from tutor to apprentice. Our parents sent us to study the shoemaking craft from a very early age. In the beginning, in 2002, when we began our work in our Dambok community, we had four people in one room in a time, we created the private enterprise Dambor Payabzale. We already had 30 people working for us. Products we manufacture have a strong market niche because they are made of 100% genuine leather. In 2011, we built our factory and the number of our employees increased to 43. During this time, our markets were filled with cheap imported goods and competing with them was not easy because the manufacturers of these products use technology and methods that we didn't have here. Although we have very good access to leather, we realized that we also needed to invest into new technologies. During a roundtable organized by the Aid for Trade project, we discussed the need to develop better footwear production. Jointly with the project, we bought two leather stretching machines for the front and back of the shoe. This is the first of its kind in the region. We also visited two large show factories in Turkey to learn about how to increase quality. The biggest benefits of this machinery are that firstly it improves the product quality and secondly it increases the amount of produced goods. Moreover, we established a partnership with two other shoe producers so they have access to the new equipment and develop their own expertise. Before the new machinery, one worker in our shoe enterprise could hardly keep up to pull leather to 10 pairs of shoes a day. Now they can pull 1,700 pairs per day. Our work has become much easier. Upon graduation from college last year, I was hired by the Dambor Payabzal company. Working conditions here are very good. I'm working here for one and a half months now. My main responsibility here is to make finishing works and preparing shoes for sale. We polish, wax to give an attractive finish and put each shoe into a box. I like working here and I'm satisfied with my salary level. Before joining this company, I was a housewife and was never employed. It has been two months since I started working here. I was invited by the company as the production volume increased. I make shoe insoles, attach the company name tag to the insole. We have a very friendly environment here and I like my co-workers. Working conditions are good as well. When I first came here as an apprentice, I knew nothing about this craft. Now I'm a master in this craft and have already trained two apprentices. 
The new equipment will help us to create more jobs for our youth. Mr. Anwar Khodjimurzaev pioneered a brand new production technology in the region. This technology improved the appearance and the quality of shoes, increased the production capacity and created an additional 20 jobs. Other shoe manufacturers in the area also became interested in this new technology. Using the equipment on a partnership basis is a benefit to both the manufacturers and the industry's development. Sophisticated shoppers are also increasingly showing an interest in these quality shoes and realize that they can easily find the shoe to meet their needs produced by these local artisans. Each manufacturer has his or her goal. Someone wants to earn enough to cover their daily expenses. Others want to get rich. My brothers and I have made it our goal to bring the quality of our shoes up to meet international standards and enter the global market.